everyone, my name is RoadShocker22 and I want to thank EA for inviting me to this capture event for FIFA 22. I will be able to show you guys some gameplay, show you guys some of the game modes that are going to be offered in the game. And coming from a rookie, you'll know firsthand if it is easy to adjust and get used to the controls of the game. So I'm super excited about it. Let's hop on in. So the game starts off with you in Paris creating an avatar and having to go down to PSG Stadium where you're going to take in a game and watch your favorite player Mbappe play. And it's real cool because you actually take control of the team. And it's another great way to practice, especially if you're a beginner like me, and get to know the feels of the game. I really enjoy playing this. Um, as you can see, I had a hard time trying to tackle, trying to get the ball away from the opponent. But I got used to it as the game goes on. Now, for some of you pros out there, you'll probably just want to skip this part and just hop right into the game. But if you're a beginner, definitely um, play this. Um, kind of get you up to speed with everything. Um, as you can see, I was moving the ball just a little bit, trying to learn the turbo, trying to learn how to pass it, try to, to dribble. And then we even got us a goal with the best player in the game, Mbappe. Let's go. Got the little celebrations and I really like the feel of it like it felt really good it wasn't like confusing for me to learn it and it was really really cool um the, it was so smooth I can control the player pretty good um, they did a great job at showing the basic functions of what you needed to do as you hopped into the game so for beginners I think this is a great game to start off with um, game mode and you guys will really have a lot of fun doing it. And again, Mbappe is just a beast in this game. He's so fast. And my shots weren't really good all throughout the game. But I did get some good shots in. Did get some good scores in. So I was super excited about that. So I also want to check out some of the other game modes in the game. And one game mode that looks really, really fun is Volta Football. Now, Volta Football is kind of like an arcade style soccer. There's a lot of different game modes to it. There's a lot of things that you can do with your avatar and add different things to your avatar. Looks like it even has soccer tennis, which looks interesting. I can't wait to try that. And you can also take your avatar through the ranks in seasons, build your avatar up and see him just beast on the field. You have different abilities that you can add. You got the power strike where you have the power to kick score from anywhere. You can choose the pure pace if you want to blow by your opponents with speed. Or if you are aggressive, you can choose aggressive tackler like that physical game. And you can put that on the avatar. You can also choose a crest that you can rock throughout the whole thing. And of course, me being Roll Shocker, I went ahead and went with the lightning bolt. Had to. Once you choose your crest, you'll go ahead and look at your talent tree and see what type of upgrades you want to make to your player. You can see what type of skill points you got. And the talent tree is really, really cool because then you can kind of lead your avatar to what type of player you want it to be. So you got the skill tree here and you use your points to see where you want to adjust, where you want to make your player more powerful. Now, unfortunately, there wasn't too many people online to where I can play a squads match. I really want to check out some of the game modes, check out some of the things that was available with it. But I will definitely get some videos on that in due time. So also, we got the ultimate team. We got, you know, you can play right away with the quick play modes. You got a new career where you can start off on a club team and um, have your avatar go through the ranks, or you can choose a star that's already in the game and have him in a career. You got your pro clubs, if you got your squad ready to go, and you got head-to-head -head seasons, which is always great competition. So for me, being a beginner, I want to hop into some drills to try and learn a little bit more before I start playing head-to-head. -head. And they have some awesome tutorials that you can do. Um, I worked on my dribbling, as you can see here. Just simple stuff, but it's really, really cool because it really gets you going with your controls. And, you know, I've worked on a little bit of passing. Tried to work on some patience instead of trying to dribble down the field with one guy and score all the time. Passing, get some other players involved, and take a, gr a better shot. So really awesome drills to get you going. There's also a shooting drill, which, again, I told you my shooting was really, really bad when I first started. I was just kicking over the goal. It was ugly. 
And this right here, a nice drill, kind of teach you to kick in the corners where it's hard for the goalie to stop it. You kind of learn a little bit of um, patience to kick it soft, get some soft kicks in there. And then also how to learn how to tackle. There's so many different drills that will get you ready for online head-to-head -head mode. And yeah, I'm really glad that they have a lot of this in here. And if you're a beginner, definitely check this out. Definitely hit that up in the beginning. So we went ahead and jumped into a CPU game and the presentation of this looks amazing. I love the way it looks. It's really, really cool. Got the players walking out with the kids and I want to test out my skills. We put it on a little bit higher difficulty and see if I learned a little bit, see if, I, if my shot was a little better. And again, the, the feel of this is really, really good. As you see, I could overshot it again. I still need to work on my shot, but we got better throughout the game. Got past, my passing was really, really good. And then we kicked a little baby kick right there and hit it in that corner. So I did learn a lot playing in the little practice modes and I really enjoyed this game. And for a newbie, I think it was a lot of fun. Can't wait to see you guys get your hands on it. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I had a lot of fun playing FIFA 22 and I know you guys will as well. And if you can, please subscribe to my channel, Roshaka22. That would mean a lot to me. And we're going to provide some more content in the future. Have a great day. And I hope you guys rock it on the soccer field. Peace.